welcome to SND. I'm JR, of course, and today we are at Pizza Hut on Goldstream Avenue in Langford, BC. Let's start off with the pizza. Pizza Hut started in 1958. See, I'm trying to remember what I Googled earlier. It started <laughs> in 1958 by two brothers in Wichita, Kansas. Now, Wichita, Kansas, obviously known for their pizza, second only to Naples in Italy, right? Of course. Uh, that's where the franchise started. And in 1959 is when they franchised out. In 1977, Pizza Hut was bought by the Pepsi Corporation, who also owns Taco Bell and KFC. And I remember, so pan pizza, pepperoni pan pizza was a big staple of mine back in the day. Back when I was a teen, it was like a Friday night thing we always used to do. And I really liked the pan pizza. It was crispy, it was greasy, and it always hit the spot. Also, I wanted to say in Gordon Head that they, I don't know if you remember, but Pizza Hut used to have a sit down restaurant. They had a salad bar. The salad bar. Yeah, and you would sit down and they would bring you the pizza. Monday and Tuesday nights, and I don't know if it was just the one in Gordon Head, 477, mm. but they used to have an all-you-can-eat pizza night, and that was like my favorite night because <laughs> I would go and I literally, I would put them in the red. I'm sure they stopped doing it literally because of me. So what I would do is I would go early and I would get a table by the kitchen. So when they'd come out with the pizzas, they would have to walk by me first and I could flag them down. Because if you sat farther away, the chances of you getting a pizza was less because people always picked at it as the, the servers went by. So I made sure to sit by the kitchen and get first dibs. Wow. And I would stay there. I mean, I would fill myself with pizza. Like, it was crazy. I probably didn't do a lot of good for my insides no. the next day or the next two days. But hey, you got to do what you got to do when it comes to pizza. Also, in 1994, Pizza Hut was like the first online delivery system. They teamed up with a company called uh, SCO or Santa Cruz Operations. And in the Santa Cruz area, you could actually order delivery online for, on the internet. Now, fun fact, I actually studied SCO 3 Release 2 Unix in school. Um, I could not write a script right now or a batch <laughs> file, but I did study it. So there's a fun little tidbit there. On to, now. What'd you get? So this is, no, they have the P-Zone. They have a bunch of different crusts. Like, you know, they do the, the gimmicky stuff, the crust twist the crust, I don't know, do some stuff with the crust. They also do the P-Zone, which is kind of good, uh, except they don't give you enough marinara to do the dipping in afterwards. The last time I got a P-Zone, they forgot the marinara. Oh. This is a melt. Um, I, I don't really know what it is. It's just like a new thing that they did. I saw the picture on the window, so I'm like, hey, let's get a melt. So this is a pepperoni. This is like a folded over pizza. So it's like a pizza sandwich. They got marinara in there for you this time. Yeah. Um, I, no, the, the P zone is basically a calzone. This, this is, and this is hot. So for those of you that are following and have watched the show, if you watched two shows ago, the Boston Pizza Show, <laughs> I burnt my mouth so bad. I burnt the roof of my mouth so bad. It actually hurt for about five or six days. I couldn't eat anything salty or acidic. Um, it caused me so much pain. So I'm trying to be careful. Also, we, I didn't do a show last week. Uh, basically, I wanted to support the writers and the actors that are on strike. Then someone pointed out to me that I'm neither. So I thought, okay, well, I'll do a show this week. <laughs> Actually, no, I just want to feel motivated to do one. So. All right. Um, I'm afraid, this is hot. I'm afraid to bite this. Do you want me to hold it whilst you open the other one and we'll hold it open? Well, I, just, I don't want to burn my mouth again. I mean, it's good, but it's basically like a crispy calzone. Mm -hmm. Look who came prepared. That's actually pretty decent. You know, I like the crispiness of, of the crust and they did actually fill it with a lot of topping. So, you know what? I'm gonna give a thumbs up to the melt. Do you want me to take it? I will pass it to you. Okay. If I can figure out this damn box. And balance. <laughs> okay. Okay. Now on to the star of the show and why we're here. Pepperoni Lovers Pan Pizza. Again, used to love this thing back in the day. 
I don't think it's like what it used to be back in the day. I don't know. Do you rem like? Is it are things actually better back in the day, or do we just remember them better? I think we just remember them better. I, I do that all the time with things from England. So I mean, this is a like this is supposed to be a pan pizza. Now it used to be like flatter and and like more caramelized the oil on the crust. So I don't know, man. I don't think it's the same. It's um yeah, and I don't know. I don't think still kind of greasy on the bottom and everything but the, the crust i swear to god was different it was more detroit style I, they probably stole the idea from a detroit style pizza with the pan but um yeah it was different anyways it's not as good as i remember it back in the day i mean I'll, let's just get that out of the way it's just not The crust is still crispy and oily. The cheese is nice. I do like the crispy pepperonis. And the sauce is more traditional marinara, so it's more of a basil-y style sauce, not like a Greek, that's a little bit sweeter. Um, I mean, it's a good pizza, and it's actually quite busy. Like, there are people coming out of that place with pizzas. So I'm quite surprised. I mean, even though it's a big chain, I'm still gonna give this, I'll give it an eight. Oh. For a chain pizza, that's pretty good. Yeah, it's decent. You know, eight, eight point one, I would say. Oh, okay. So that's a decent score. I mean, it's not a cheap pizza by any means, so um, the ingredients are good. And uh, it's just not what, I just want it to be like I remembered. I wanna go back in time and I wanna get my Friday night pizza, hut, or better yet, I want to sit at a table by the kitchen <laughs> and just be a glutton and and choke down a bunch of pizza. Well, as soon as someone invents time travel, you could have that yeah. that wish. I just saw the Flash. Apparently, time travel is not good, and no. neither is that movie. <laughs> so bring back the Snyderverse. <laughs> Anyways, um, I think that's about it for tonight. For today, yeah. Pizza Hut on Goldstream. Pan Pizza gets an eight, an eight point one. Eight point one, yeah. And the melt, you know what? Surprisingly, is a really good thing. I'm actually going to eat that before I eat this. So. Until next time, we'll see you later.